welcome to our Lent Reflections. Today we're continuing to look at Acts chapter 20, verse 35, exploring what it means to go deeper in servanthood. And in verse 35 it says, And I have been a constant example of how you can help those in need by working hard. You should remember the words of the Lord Jesus, it is more blessed to give than to receive. And yesterday, we looked at the first part of this verse, with Paul's example of servanthood. But today, we're going to be focusing on what it means to be more blessed to give than to receive. And we're going to look at this, focusing on our giving in servanthood. Now, each of us is called to serve Jesus. Jesus himself gives us an example in John 13. It says where we're told, Jesus got up from the table, took off his robe, wrapped a towel around his waist and poured water into a basin, then began to wash the disciples' feet, drying them with the towel he had around him. So we know that following Jesus' example, we're called to serve. But how are we blessed through our service? In Matthew 24, verse 46, we're told, if the master returns and finds that the servant has done a good job, there will be a reward. I tell you the truth, that the master will put the servant in charge of all he owns. And in Matthew 25, verse 21, it says the master was full of praise. Well done, my good and faithful servant. You have been faithful in handling this small amount. So now I will give you more responsibilities. Let's celebrate together. From these verses, we can see that there is a reward. We will be praised and there will be a celebration. But also, God will see your good works and he'll trust you with more, moving closer in relationship with him and forming you with each act of your service. And each act of our service, we can see God moving. If you serve in youth, watching children grow and see Christ's love in them, it fills your heart. If you meet the immediate need of a neighbour and you can see how blessed they are by God's actions, that can be so rewarding. But my favourite story about being blessed involves serving God through finances. And it's from the book, Igniting a Life in Generosity. When I was in my early 20s, I started working for a little Christian radio station where they couldn't pay me much. I got a very modest salary with one of the little benefit, a company vehicle. So I thought I could get a little more cash by selling my own car. I put it in the paper and a week after week after week went by and nobody was interested. So I started to pray that God would sell my car. And one day, as I was praying about this, I heard this whisper. So what are you gonna do with the money if I sell your car? Spend it, was my first thought. But then all of a sudden, I saw a vivid image of a co-worker's family. I worked with the guy. There were a couple of parents with two kids close to my own age, and I knew that they were having an excruciating time financially. They had one income and it wasn't very big. They were living in this little rented house and they had some health issues. These people were just getting bowled over by circumstances in their lives. So I said, okay, God, if you sell my car, I'll give a sizable portion to this family. The number that popped into my head was at least double, maybe triple anything that I'd given away before. It was a lot of money for me. So this is not going to surprise you. But right afterwards, my car sells. So I say, so God, you know when we were talking about that whole agreement thing? Well, okay, okay, I'm good for it. I went to the bank, cashed the cheque and put the wad of money in an envelope and waited until it got dark. I drove over to the street where the house was and it's funny, this happened 15 years ago and I still remember it so clearly. I parked several houses away, sneaked out to this mailbox, opened it, stuffed the envelope in, closed it and dashed to my car. 
The next day at work, this man had a bunch of people gathered around him and he was sobbing, just sobbing. He held up the envelope and said, Darren, look at this. Look what God gave me. Funny. He was calling it a miracle. That God gave him this money. I remember the look on his face. I remember thinking so clearly, yes, God did give you that money. Wow. I got to be part of a miracle. Wow. How blessed. Through your servanthood, you can get to be part of God's miracles. And I pray now that, Lord, you will help us in our service to you. Help us to follow your spirit and to bless others through our servanthood. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.